What brings the worst out in people? Black Friday. Travel. To know what a person is really like go traveling with them. Thinking fear being cheated. It almost makes me want to stop doing games in class, because if there are to teams, both teams always complain that the other team has some sort of unfair advantage. In reality, neither team understands the true length of a minute, and thinks they are being cheated on time. Divorce proceedings, especially with kids involved. It can turn a couple of average people into monsters. Desperate on. Inheritances. I've seen both my family and friends' families absolutely ripped apart after someone dies, and another family member doesn't feel they've received their share, or that the will was unfair, or that property mysteriously goes missing before the estate is settled. <laughs> awful awful stuff. I think the worst is my friend's dad and his sister haven't spoken for over 30 years due to a squabble over their mother's will. 30 years. The kicker is that they are both quite well off on their own. Friend's dad is a very very successful trial lawyer and friends aren't married a successful doctor. This wasn't money either of them ever actually needed, but they've not had a relationship for decades because of it. Colon dash open bracket. Jealousy. Not just for success. I have seen many relationships crumble because someone was happier than the other. Traffic. I always liked the halt rule. If you're feeling hungry, angry, late or tired then it's likely things you say or do will come off worse than you intend. Edit. Lots of replies about the L being lonely. That works too. Turns out learning acronyms differently brings out the worst in some people too. The word free in a retail or restaurant type of setting. People will trample one another. Take all of the items so there aren't any for others, gorge themselves, try to sneak food out with them. It's disgusting. Weddings. Semicolon. My father is a minister. He says he would rather help with a funeral over a wedding any day. Weddings leave people with a sense of extreme desperate on to achieve perfection. When you were told to wait 20 minutes and it's now been 21 minutes and you are still waiting. Stress. Most of us are capable of being decent human beings who make a positive contribution to society. You add stress into the mix and people start to crack. Financial stress, relationship stress, work stress, it does not matter. When our focus is pulled into simply surviving and staying afloat, our ability to empathize or provide support to others greatly diminishes. I think this is tied in with the low morale we are all experiencing right now. When are all unbelievably stressed. I have seen some of the nicest people completely snap and act shockingly because they just cannot take the pressure anymore. Hunger can make people do things they never thought they were capable of doing. It can drive you mind out of control. Funerals. All the heightened emotions make people irrational. Any buried family drama comes out at the worst possible time. I've been caught in the middle of it before. I didn't even know the deceased. I was there supporting my friend who had lost her mother. Someone decided this was the time to air a 20 year old grudge as my friend walked by. My friend was so caught off guard by the accusations she was speechless. I told this crazy lady this wasn't the time or the place for this conversation, so she turned on me. Next thing I knew some other family member was violently yanking her out of the room. I guess it could have been worse, but why did you have to make a scene at a funeral? Anonymity. Putting a mask on, being on the internet, or otherwise concealing one's identity. People do some very fucked up things when they know they won't be held accountable. When a loved one dies, people get really really weird in a bad way about money and stuff. I know a bunch of people who had relatives who flat out stole money and valuables after the death of a family member. It's crazy. My own family has a permanent rift because when my grandmother died, two of the five siblings cleaned out her accounts. People get real stupid when it comes to their kids. The my baby can do no wrong attitude when your child is fucking shit up needs to stop. Scarcity. Not being accepted by other people. Social contact and validation is no different from food or water. Yes, people can starve on validation too. 
that's why simple things like greeting strangers in the street or always saying thank you are so critically important. Unprocessed trauma from childhood. As someone that is struggling with mental health, I'm only now beginning to understand why I do a lot of what I do. When our needs for love and acceptance aren't met, we seek out soothing behaviors that numb the pain. It's really easy to end up in midlife with no real idea what it means to be happy and feeling no connection to others. As you begin to work on your issues, you find that the soothing behaviors are no longer as soothing because you know why you're doing it. So, you're stuck with the emptiness that you've always felt and no way to get out of the feeling. League of Legends. Power. Traffic. The after work rush home is the worst. Everyone is tired, has generally had a bad day, and will do anything just to get home and relax. I4 in Tampa is basically Mad Maximum Fury Road, but with regular cars. Ego. Diarrhea. Echo Chambers. It is easy to dehumanize people who are different than you when you never spend any time interacting with them. Being challenged or ganged up on. My mother will freak out whenever she feels like either of these happening to her and she starts screaming. At those points, it's pretty much best to walk away and ignore her. Though she likes to say I'm running away from her, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that I needed to interact with your tantrum. Fear. Every single answer so far ultimately ties back to fear. Fear of losing money. Fear of losing power. Fear of losing livelihood. Fear of sickness or death. Fear of failure. Fear of missing out. Fear, in any form, with any motivation, turns people into blind panicky stupid vicious animals. And then there are those who benefit or profit by stoking fear in people. They, obviously, are worse than animals, but are likewise motivated by those same fears above, creating a vicious fear circle. Money. The moment money is involved, a person as true nature comes out, and most of the time it wanna be pretty. Former legal assistant here I am telling you, you don't ever see the worst in someone until you are in the middle of a nasty divorce fighting for custody of your children. It is horrendous how evil some people can be to someone they once loved. Parking. Merry Kart. Monopoly. You know. Basically any game where you can really fuck over your friends and family. Custody battles. Holy fuck. Bullying. I got bullied a lot in primary school. As soon as I got rid of my bullies in secondary school, I started bullying other people in my new school. I regret it. I was such a dick then. Cocaine. Pain. But at the same time it can bring out the strength you never thought you had to. Death in the family. Nothing draws the worst of the worst extended family out from under their rock like the prospects of free shit. Entitlement. Not to be generic, but money. More specifically in my case, a well-paying job. I have seen some of my friends go from being cool humble people with okay paying jobs, to being complete snobs about money, as soon as they got a well-paying one. As soon as they started making more money than most of their friends they would rub it in our faces, or compare incomes, claiming we need to step it up, and that it is our fault when we're a poor. 